Preventing and identifying fraud is imperative for organizations today. Swimlane's low-code security automation converts an impossible manual task into an automatic task that proactively identifies and shuts down risks like the fraudulent use of authorized credentials. In this use case example, the recorded future identity module provides information on identities that have been compromised. The process starts with the recorded future task called Get Identities Search Domains. The inputs are used to specify things like the desired domain or domains to target the results. For this example, the task is set to only return results for the domain recordedfuture.com. Swimlane will execute that task on a schedule which, for this example, is once per day. Any results found and returned will create a new record in Swimlane and add the identity compromise to the identity field in the record. When any new record exists with an identity, Swimlane will run the recorded future task, Get Identities, Look Up Subjects. This task uses the identity to execute another query and return all the data recorded future has for the identity. This workflow ensures these tasks run automatically. If the severity of the risk is critical, the workflow will immediately execute additional actions, such as sending a Slack notification and disabling the user account. Other actions could be added to the automation as well. The dashboard for this fraud prevention application provides a real-time overview of what has transpired so far and can be used to quickly access the underlying data. The risk of fraud due to these compromised credentials is low. Looking more closely, the reason the risk is low is that this identity does not match a current user of the system. Even though this is not a current user, the data found by Recorded Future still provides information about everything that was located for this identity and password hashes in the data. The Identity Investigation Phase widget displays the tasks that have been carried out to determine that there is a low risk and nothing more needs to be done at this time. Back on the dashboard, the severity chart indicates three critical risks are present. The critical credential report below the chart provides a list of the records and another method for accessing them. In addition to verifying the identity matches the domain, Swimlane has confirmed that this is also a current user with valid credentials, making additional action imperative to prevent fraud. The Swimlane workflow automatically handled this by sending out a Slack notification and immediately disabling the user account. Data returned to this application can also be used to further address potential fraud issues in the environment. The critical identity record can create an event in this alert and incident management application so that the critical risk information can now be combined into a full case management record where existing tasks that have already been performed are recorded and additional tasks like a SIM search can be initiated. Additional tasks can be automated or run manually like this to investigate any use of the credentials and identify any possible fraud that may have already been attempted or taken place. Swimlane's low-code security automation is an excellent way to combat potential fraud by investigating credentials that have been compromised, acting to stop any additional fraud, and investigating any fraudulent use of those credentials. For more great use case examples, check out the resources at swimlane.com.